here's a rainbow snake, but it looks dead. No, no, it's alive. It's in really bad shape. It's in really bad shape. It doesn't smell bad. This was what I was looking for. Boy, it really looks bad. Lost a big chunk of its tail. Incredible. But it's not dead, believe it or not. But boy, is it ever weak. I can't even see it flick its tongue out. But that's definitely what it is. There's a little bit of a tongue. Huh. Of course, I'm tempted to take it back and rehab it. It's maybe what I'll do or try to rehab it because it's not going to do well out here. That's for sure. I don't know if this is fungal disease or not or if it's just having a difficult time shedding, but it looks like it could be a very old snake. Uh, maybe on its way out. Oh well. I'm going to take it back and see if we can get it to uh, survive. This is right where I'm walking along the edge of the river here. I wish it was in better shape. I really don't see any eyes on the snake. No, it's just such a strange, it's not thin or emaciated or anything. This poor thing can't see. So I've made the decision that I'm gonna leave the snake here. The flies are on it. It's, it's really not in good shape. I'm in contact with some people on Facebook who do some animal rehab. And if I can get in touch with them, and somehow get the snake to them, we will do that. But for now, I'm gonna to have to leave it here, unfortunately, and get on the road. Uh, I've been here with it for at least a half hour trying to get something worked out, and so far we haven't been able to. But if I get some type of information from somebody here in the next couple of hours, I can probably come back to get this snake if it's still alive. It's just, uh, like I said, it's the flies are on it and the ants are on it. It's not looking good at all. And I hate it because this is the first rainbow snake I've ever seen alive uh, that I found. But I guess that's the way it goes sometimes. Well, this is the poor rainbow snake right here. She's just completely listless. And I think she's actually dying. Uh, so. I don't know what we can do about that, but we're gonna have to leave her and get on the road here. 
Uh, anyway, I just wanted to uh, check in. If Again, like I said, if some, but something happens and we do get a call from somebody uh, about this snake, we will come back and get her, that's for sure. Hey, so we just got a call from somebody who was interested in trying to rehab it. Oh, it's still alive, it's moving. Uh, I've got my old school snake bag here. So we're gonna bag her up. What I am going to do though first is, uh, I'm gonna set my camera down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some wet leaves and put in here in this bag. Some money in this bank bag. Come here, sweetie. Oh boy. She's just so lethargic. But she's in the bag. All right, so we will take her and drop her off with So that's why I had to beep out those uh, those names and the place where he works in the earlier part of the video. And I said the snake was in really bad shape and he said that's okay because uh, if the snake dies, they can study it and find out uh, a little bit more. They think it may have a fungal disease, which is going around the uh, eastern snakes. And they want to be able to investigate it and see if that's the cause of his death. And he also said that you don't come across rainbow snakes all the time, so any chance you get to study one is pretty uh, important that you study it. And I'm fairly certain the snake would have died out there in the on the edge of the river and just been eaten by whatever. So, at the very least, uh, we'll learn something from the snake, and at the very best, the snake will recover and I can release it back out by the river. I'll give you an update when there is one. Hey, so it's a month later. Uh, the snake is still alive and the vet is taking care of it uh, pro bono or for free since it's sort of a specialized uh, situation with the rainbow snake. Uh, not being able to be studied that much. He was not able to test it for snake fungal disease because apparently the test is kind of expensive. And since uh, he would have to pay for it out of his pocket, uh, he didn't do that. So, But he is treating it for snake fungal disease and it is improving. The snake's being tube fed every few days and it's put on a lot of good weight as you can see in this little video he sent me uh, just the other day. See how well it's doing? It looks pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, it may not be able to be released. Uh, he said that the snake fungal disease uh, destroyed its eyes and the snake is probably blind. So at this point, we don't know exactly what's going to happen with it. Uh, however, um, keep an eye on the Ocho Verde Wildlife Channel and we will give you an update when we have one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.